Hey guys, it's me, Elizabeth. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing another tier ranking video and I'm going to be tier ranking the Harry Potter characters. There is a 100 Harry Potter characters tier list on the tier list website and I decided that I was going to do that one because I thought it would be cool. Um, I know 99% of the characters on this list. There are a few characters that I'm not familiar with because these are obviously all people from the movies and um, some of them are like so obscure that like you might see them for like a split second in a scene and you like know about them in the books but in the movies you're like I don't know who this is so like there might be a few characters like that. I did look up most of these people pre beforehand but that was a couple days ago, so I don't know if I'm going to remember them all. And there are two duplicates. I don't know who created this list. It wasn't me. I'm just doing the list. Um, there are two duplicates. There is a duplicate of Santa Furious Lovegood, and it's the same picture. I don't know why. And there's a duplicate of one of the Patel twins, and it's the same picture. I don't know why. There's It's just like one's a little smaller and one's a little bit more zoomed in. It doesn't make sense, but those two are duplicates. And yeah, without further ado, let's just go into this. Okay, so for the list here, I did sort of like the Harry Potter school ranking thing because I don't know, I just thought that'd be kind of cool. So we have Outstanding, O, oh, we have Exceeds Expectations, E, Acceptable, A, Meh, is my own made up thing, which is just kind of characters that I either don't know what they are or I just don't particularly care about. And then Poor, I guess Poor could kind of go with Meh, I guess. Um, Dreadful, Troll, and I guess I made a separate thing for I don't care who this is, but, you know, let's just get into this. So, I feel like I should change the, um, okay, so I'm going to change these because that's what I do. So, I'm going to put the I don't know who this is here because... Poor and meh kind of are the same thing. And I'm going to put... Should... Wait. I'll just put... Put in... Azkaban. Did I spell that correctly? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's as... Azkaban. I think it's both that correctly. I don't even know if it did because I could not. But now we're going to actually switch this. Okay, so Tom Riddle, Voldemort, he's basically, you know, going in Azkaban. Now, as a character, he is a well done character. So if we're going with like how well his character done his character would, I would put him in outstanding. But for this list, I'm going with my personal, like the people I like and how I would put them in my like the way I like them and my favorites and stuff like that and these are just my own opinions so don't get mad but I hate someone that you hate or like someone that you hate that you you know what I mean if I like someone you don't like or if I don't like someone you do like that's what I meant to say um there are definitely some people in here that everybody loves and is obsessed with and I don't care about so yeah um, Moving Myrtle, I would say poor. Moaning Myrtle's poor. I'm sorry. I don't like hate Moaning Myrtle, but I don't really like Moaning Myrtle. It's not like, I don't know, McGonagall. I don't know if I should put her in exceeds, yeah, exceeds expectations, I believe, because I love McGonagall. Um, we'll put Madame Maxine in acceptable, because I don't like hate her. She's an okay character, but I'm not like, oh, I love this character. So, I don't know. Um, Grindelwald. I'm gonna put him in troll. I don't know. I'm trying to say put in Azkaban for the people that I truly think belong in Azkaban, 
and Grindelwald doesn't go to Azkaban, he is in this other place that I can't remember what it's called right now. I was literally just reading this the other day too, so great on me. Um, I mean, he definitely deserves to be in Azkaban technically, but in my, like, characters list, I don't care that much, so he's going to go in Joel. You know what, I'm going to zoom this out just a little bit because I feel like we're really close. There we go. Crab is going to go, no this is Goyle, I'm sorry. He's going to go in, actually he's going in Troll because in the last book, like he was always like mean and ugly and ew and like not a nice person. But then in the last book, he just showed how truly evil he was by like doing that fire and then killing himself. And like, I hate Malfoy more just because he's Malfoy and ugh. But at the same time, in that moment, he was worse than Malfoy, so. Just a thing. Um. Um, Gregorovich. I don't really care about Gregor Gregorovich, so we'll put him in there. And this is Basilda, Basilda Bagshot, and since we only see her when that brief time when she's Nagini, and sure she wrote um, History of Magic and, you know, another thing she did was talk to, to Rita Skeeter about Dumbledore. I don't personally care about that, but some people might, so I'm just going to put her in poor. Hermione's going in AC's Expectations. Now, Trelawney, I'm not going to be like, oh, I like Trelawney, but I don't hate Trelawney. I don't really, like, I feel like I need another. Okay, I'll put Trelawney in poor, because, like, I don't like her, but I don't dislike her. I need to, like, change this, this one to I don't care, because this isn't working. I need to have something in between like in between because I don't care for her and then yeah that works and I think I would put yeah I think that works Bill Bill's acceptable I like Bill he's cool I would say Lavender Brown I would say I don't really care um definitely like Angelina Johnson Electo Caro can Amicus Electo. Electo's the guy. He's going in Joel because he's in Death Eater. Maybe, yeah. He tortures with people, the students at Hogwarts, so. Not a fan. Alberforce. Dumbledore. Can go in. I don't care. Here's the thing. Freddy Crouch Jr. I don't like him as a character. But I love David Tennant, so it's like. He's a Joel. He's a, like, dreadful person, so I'm putting him in dreadful. He's not quite Joel level because he's really well played by David Tennant, and his character is actually well done by J.K. Rowling. Okay. Floor. Floor, da, fly. I'm going to put her in... I would say she's acceptable. I don't love Floor, but she's okay. Luna's definitely going and exceeds expectations. You know what I just realized? I did this wrong. Hermione goes up here, and Luna goes up here. I'm so stupid. Okay, Buckbeak can go in... I don't know, where do I put Buckbeak? Acceptable? I think I'll, I think that works. Crookshank can go in Azkaban, because I hate cats. Really, really hate cats. Almost as much as I hate Umbridge. Maybe more. Except that Umbridge is really bad. And speaking of the devil, going to Azkaban, we are going to Azkaban. See, here's the problem. He's going in poor because most of the time he's like mean to all the students and blah blah. And he's like with Umbridge and all of that stuff in the fifth one, but like. In the long run, he's not really that bad of a character. He's not, like, actually evil, per se. I mean, 
he's he's sort of evil, I guess, but not really. I don't know how to explain it. I just don't think he's that truly that evil. Professor, boy, Professor, studying quarrel. Uh, I'll just put him in trouble. He's not as bad as some people, but I still hate him. Um. Moody, where should I put you? I feel like I feel like I'm gonna regret this, but I need to put you in exceeds expectations for now. Just for now. Dumbledore. Okay, here's where everyone's gonna get super mad at me. I don't care about Dumbledore. I'm gonna be honest, you know what, I'm gonna put him in four. Because I'm always like, oh, I don't care about the word, oh, I don't care. But actually, I don't, I dislike him a little bit, I'm gonna be honest. I know everyone's gonna hate me for that, like. I don't know, see, this is hard because at least for all of the, most of the good people in these characters, I'm like, mostly everyone, except for, like, a few of them. So it's, like, really hard. Folks, I'll put in acceptable because I like folks, but like it's just hard because it's like I feel like there's too many in acceptable, but Scabiar can go in dreadful. Remus Lupin exceeds expectations. Except for that part when he tries to run away with Harry, Ron, Hermione, and leave Tonks and the baby, like, no. Colin Creevy, he's cool. He's acceptable. Madam Crunch, see this is a problem with like acceptable. Except that mm, This is not gonna go over well. Madam Pomfrey again. Acceptable. I mean I don't love these people in this acceptable category, but I like them. I don't dislike them or not like them and I don't really not care. I mean Madam Pomfrey's pretty um pretty important sometimes saving Harry's life being not saving his life per se but like you know healing his broken bones and you know saving lots of people's lives like Hermione's so you know Bellatrix of course going to ask a ban no questions asked and I just remembered there's another double and that is this guy Maybe they meant to use one of Bill for Charlie. And if we're gonna do that, because there's no, like, actual picture of Charlie in the movies, because he's not in the movies at all. So, I'm just gonna pretend that this picture of Bill here is Charlie, even though it's not. And you guys can just pretend that too. And I'm gonna put him in acceptable, because he's a Weasley, and I love the Weasleys, except for one person. Um, Cho Chang. I don't know whether to put her in troll or dreadful, but I hate Cho Chang. Tempted to put her in troll, but she's not that bad as some people. Cormac McLaggen. He can go in, I don't care. Gabriella Del Delacour. I can't say that very well. She can kind of go in, I don't care. Oh well. Draco Malfoy. Do I want to put him in Azkaban? Let's be real, I want to put him in Azkaban. Ginny Weasley goes in outstanding. Oh, I only have the three girls in standing. That's kind of weird. This guy doesn't exist in the books. And I hate him because he doesn't exist. He's a non-existent character that they made up for the movies. And it didn't make any sense whatsoever. Because all he did was hand Harry a couple of parcels and show up during Dumbledore's army. And, like, it was completely useless and I don't like him. So I'm putting him in for because he's not necessarily a bad character, but like a bad person, but like I don't like him. <laughs> Fierce Flitwick is definitely my head of house, so definitely going in acceptable. I have to remember who this guy is. He's one of the students from somewhere and I'm just going to say I don't care because I can't remember his name, so. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ollivander, Ollivander is cool. See, these are people that I'm like, they're cool, but I don't love them. I don't know how to do this. 
Um, okay. I think this is working. Uh, here's crab. Um, sorry, coral. I always say the wrong one. I know what I mean, and I know the difference between them, but I always say the wrong one. You can go with oil in there. Dobby is going to see the expectations. Like, who doesn't love Dobby? Crazy people. Okay. Oh, this is Nagini. Hmm. Should I put you in Azkaban? Flip the air snake, so it wouldn't really affect you the same, so I'm going to put you in Joel. Hagrid exceeds expectations. Where are all the people that go in outstanding? Because I promise there are more. There's like five more at least. Well, and probably just five more. This guy is also... Okay, so this is the one picture I could not for the life of me figure out who this was. He's in one of the pictures for the Dumbledore's army scene. And that's it. That's like... I can't figure out what his name is, and I know he's in Double Lord's Army or whatever, and that's all I know about him. So he must be a movie made up character like Nigel or something. And seeing as I don't know who this is, I'm gonna put I don't care. And Arabella Fig, I'm gonna also say I don't really care. Because she's not like evil, so it's not like I don't like her, but she's just like in it for like a little bit. I don't really care. Fenrir Greyback. Hmm. I feel like. Actually, I kind of feel like Fenrir deserves to go to Azkaban. I'm getting that vibe. But I think I'm just going to put him in Joel, because... I'm preserving this for the really worst of characters. So... Brady Cross Senior! Can I put you in Dreadful? Because nobody likes you. I... At least I'm just assuming most people don't. Madam Rosmerta. I would say I don't really care. You know what? I said that wrong. This guy is Corny as Fudge. And this guy is Barty Crouch Sr. I always get them mixed up. And Corny as Fudge deserves to go into Troll. Barty Crouch Senior can go into Dreadful. I did that wrong. I'm so incredibly sorry. Serious Black. Hmm. Definitely exceeds expectations. Slughorn. I'm gonna say I don't care. I don't really care about Slughorn. I don't like him. He's not that great. But I don't. I don't know. I don't really care for him. Um. This is. Aunt Muriel, I believe. She can go in poor. She's not a very nice person. This is Doge. I'm gonna say Elfie is Doge. I'm gonna say I don't care because. Mm. And then we have. Um, this is Katie Bell. Katie Bell, cool. I like all the girls in the book. Gryffindor, great scene. They're cool. They're not in it very much or anything, but I think they're cool. Um, Mundungus Fletcher. He freaking got mad I killed, and he thieves from Sirius Black's house, and he's not a very great person to begin with, so. Just, he got mad I killed. Justin Fletch Fletchy. I, I don't really care. Crumb. Crumb's acceptable, I guess. Nessa, you can go and ask a band with your son. Amos Diggory you can go and I don't care. There's a lot of I don't cares. Wow. A lot more Arctic I don't care than I thought. Um, Pomona Sprout can go and acceptable. We like her. Aunt Marge. Ugh. I'm gonna put you in dreadful. You're not a very nice person. Creature. Creature is very acceptable. I love how at the end like, in the seventh book, in, when Harry and Ron and Hermione are, like, nice to him, and then he's, like, served them and, like, loves them, basically. 
it's just awesome. He like gives him the locket and Harry gives him the locket and he's just like, oh, it's just so cool. Anyways, Rufus Grimger. I don't know, man. I'm not a fan of most of the Ministry of Magic. I like um, Kingsley, who becomes Ministry of Magic at the end, but Fred, that's George, sorry. George is my favorite with Fred, of course, but ugh, Cedric Diggory. A lot of people love Cedric Diggory, they cry when he died, blah, blah. I'm like, nope, I don't like him, so. Actually, I'm going to put you in dreadful. Keep in mind, these are my opinions. Hedwig. You might hate me for this, but I don't really care about Hedwig. When she died, everyone was like, oh my gosh, Hedwig died. And I felt bad for her, and I was like, oh, that's kind of sad. But at the same time, I was like, it's just a pet. It's not, like, I don't know how to explain it. It didn't have a big attachment to Hedwig. Like, she's a cool owl. You know what? I'm gonna put her in acceptable. Because I kind of like her. But it's just that when she died, I was like, I didn't care. But as as a character, I guess she's cool. Voldemort, he's obviously going to Alex Man. He's the main villain of the story, of course. Grip Hook. I don't know if I care about Grip Hook that much. King Blade's definitely... Going in acceptable. I would put him in exceeds expectations, but he's not like my favorite favorite, so. I think this guy is Blaze Sabini or something. I'm gonna put him in I don't care. Yaxley. Of course. I feel like is it Yaxley or the other one? Doll. One of the two. Kill Fred, and one of them has to go to Azkaban. So, <laughs> gonna just put him there for now. And of course, Pie Sickness can go in Dreadful. I don't remember. Oh wait, this one might be no. This one might be. I don't remember who this one is. There's a couple of these I don't really know. This one here, I saw it was Katie Bell, but this one actually might be Katie Bell, and this one might be someone else. Let me take a look at this. That might be, well, I think one of them's like Hannah Abbott or something. Maybe not. I actually don't know. I'm going to put this again and I don't care. Because I don't know which one it is. I think this one's Katie Bell. I think I liked it. I think I like her though. Depends on which one it is. I like the Caro can go with Amicus Caro. And, oh, he's down here. Now I've gotten to the Dursleys. Vernon Dursley is a troll. Actually, Vernon Dursley dreadful. Now I'm getting cut off, I'm sorry. Um, Dudley is poor because in the end, he reconciles himself a little bit and I was like surprised when that happened. I was like, he shook Harry's hand and he's grateful for Harry saving his life. Like, this is Dudley we're talking about, so that made me happy. But Petunia is a troll. At the end, she was just like crying for Dudley because he shook Harry's hand. And uh, oh, I just hate Petunia. I hate her so much. Fred, my boy. Fred. Fred and George are my favorite characters, in case you don't remember her. All the way to Lazar. Lee Jordan. Uh, Lee Jordan is great. I'm going to just put him in acceptable. James Potter. Hmm. I'm going to put him in poor because I don't really care for James, to be honest. Dean is acceptable. 
I know this one's getting ginormous, but I can't help it. Lockhart is dreadful. Lily, um, again, poor. I just don't care about James and Lily because the only time you really see them as characters in it is when Harry's in the pen thief and he sees them in the past, like memories from Snape, and they're like being mean to Snape, so like, I mean, I should say James is being mean to Snape and he's being a bully, and it's just like, the only times that we really see them, I, I just don't care about them. They're hardly in it, and they're like, I'm sorry, I know they're your parents, Harry, but I just don't care about them. I love you, Harry. <laughs> Lucius, you can join your family in Azkaban. Oh, wait, you were already there. Oh, burn. Arthur Weasley's definitely exceeds expectations. I love Arthur Weasley. Oh, I love all the Weasleys so much. This guy, I forget who this guy is, but he's another Dumbledore's Army dude and I don't care. <laughs> he might be that guy at Smith. I don't remember. Molly Weasley. <gasps> I love Molly Weasley. She is like the best. Like, I can't even explain it to you. Harry Potter. The whole reason the story exists in the first place. Outstanding. I love Harry. Neville. Another outstanding character. Nifedora. Another exceeds expectations. Oliver Wood. Very acceptable. I love Oliver Wood. He's awesome. Some people are like, eh. Oliver Wood's like, kind of blah, blah. He's like, kind of a... Who cares, but... I like Oliver with them. And this is Pansy Parkinson. <sighs> well, just dreadful. Just dreadful. One of my least favorite characters of all time, Peter Pettigrew. He's definitely going to have a band. Although, yeah. Yeah, he's going. There's no question about that one. Rita Skeeter. We'll put her in. I will put her in dreadful. She's pretty dreadful, but like, there are some worse people than her, so. Ronald is going into my favorite, his favorite outstanding. He's my second favorite character, so. No arguments there. Seamus can go in acceptable. We like Seamus. Snape can go in poor because I don't completely hate Snape. Actually, you know what? Snape, well, you're gonna, you're gonna go in dreadful. Because Snape is on the Dumbledore's army, the, the, the good side, the, yeah, he's on the Order of the Phoenix, but it doesn't change the fact that he was horrible to Harry, to Neville, to the whole Gryffindors, to just everyone in general. But especially, like, I understand he had to be mean to Harry, like, that, that was the thing that had to be a thing. But he didn't have to be horrible to Neville, and he didn't have to make Neville hate him so much that he was his bug art. You know, just things. Crookshanks is going in here because, again, I hate cats. So we have Mrs. North, and we have Crookshanks. Well, Igor Kakaroff. Um, I don't hate, like, I don't like Igor Kakaroff, but I don't, like, hate him so much or anything, so I'm just going to put... Where'd he go? I'm just going to put... Why is it this I thing? I'm putting him in poor. Because I don't like him, but, like, I also, like... Again, they're the worst people. Fang, Fang's great. He can go unacceptable. Pavardi... Padma. I think this one's Padma. Um, I would, I don't know. Honestly, I think I don't really care about the Papel twins. Well, I kind of like them, but I'm going to put them in acceptable, actually. One of my least favorite characters of all time, definitely going in as Ben Percy Weasley, is 
like basically my least favorite Harry Potter powder character because I hate him so much. Romulda Vane. Let's be real. I don't care. Sorry. Xenophilius Lovegood is tricky because most of the time he's okay. He's losing his body, he's whatever. But then he gives Harry up to the Death Eaters and you're like, but you're making it kind of hard to like you right now. And I know you're trying to save Luna and Luna's awesome, so I understand that. But I don't know. It's just like difficult to say I like him. But it's difficult to say I don't care because I'm like, why should you do that? So I might put him in poor just because. But he is Luna's father. But I don't accept him. I'm putting him in poor. I'm sorry, Luna. And again, I accepted the pet, the pet tells him, so. And these are just the doubles down here. So, this is my rating. I hope you liked it. Um, these are my top, however uh, many this is, eight characters. I'm just going to put this in perspective for you. It goes like this. Nope. Okay, this. Friend George are my favorite characters. And then Ron and then Ginny, Hermione, Harry, Neville, and Luna. And those are my top seven.